quantity surveying is an inevitable activity when we are working in MEP industry. So whether it's a consulting company or in a contracting company or in a supplier company or in a maintenance company, we have to do the quantity surveying a lot of times. For example, if you are working within the consulting company, when we are preparing the tender documents from the tender drawings, we have to take the quantity. Accordingly, only we will be preparing the bill of quantities. Or if you are working within the contracting company pre-tendering time, we have to verify the quantities provided by the consultant within the BOQ. So a detailed level of quantity surveying we have to do at the time of pre-tendering in a contracting company. Accordingly, only we will be quoting the project. And once the project has awarded to a particular contracting company, we have to do the post-tendering activity or the final building activity, we have to do the quantity surveying. And also, at the time of execution, the site team has to take the quantities from the shop drawings. Accordingly, only we'll be raising the material requisition, then the site uh, material will be uh, uh, arranged to the site itself. Then we will be executing it. So, or if even if you are working in a supplier company, they are delivering the item to the contractors. Whenever the contracting company requirement is receiving to the uh, supplier company, there should be a quantity surveyor and estimation engineer to verify the quantity. Accordingly, only they'll be submitting their uh, quotation. Or even if it is a subcontracting or, or a, a annual maintenance cost, means a, a maintenance company, when they are quoting their project, they have to do the quantity surveying. Accordingly, only they'll be quoting their value, right? So that's why quantity surveying is an inevitable activity. So quantity surveying, all the days what we were doing, we were manually only doing, means we will be taking the printout of layout. And after that, by the help of highlighters and uh, engineer scale, we will be using to take the quantity. Nowadays, various softwares are available in the market, like the plan Swift is there, Blue Beam is there, Candy is there. For example, AutoCAD, it is uh, AutoCAD drawing. If you are receiving from the AutoCAD itself, we can take the quantity or AutoCAD takeoff is there. Or uh, if you are doing like a BIM modeling activity at that time, like uh, by the help of Revit, we can take, but a lot of errors will come in that. But precisely nowadays, we are using like a work software, to generate a perfect quantity surveying report and all correct anyhow when we are the detailed level of quantity surveying we are doing at the time of uh, uh, pre-tendering only contracting company so most of the time when we are doing the pre-tendering activity uh, we are not going to get autocad or bim file at that time we'll be receiving pdf layout only so if we are receiving the pdf layout how we can take the quantity that matters right normally plan shift canty and all we can use for that so what I'm going to do means I'll be taking HVAC layout of a fit out project. Then I'll be uploading that into the plan shift software and by the help of plan shift software, how we can do the quantity surveying and how we can export this file to the Excel, how we can make the quantity takeoff sheet, then how we can prepare the bill of quantity, then how we can do the cost estimation pricing. See, everything I will be explaining. Initially, I will be covering quantity surveying. Later, I'll be covering a cost estimation with the prices, material, man hour, then uh, labor rate, sorry, material, uh, manover, then uh, profit, overhead, logistics, tools, everything we have to discuss at that time. So anyhow, quantity surveying alone will take like for this project will take, for HVC alone, it will take like a, uh, a two to three session and this is a first session. Okay, so let's start. Thank you. So inside, inside the consulting company, quantity surveying is inevitable. Different softwares we are using. Plan Swift is there, Blue Beam is there, Candy is there. Plan Swift is a common tool. Easy. It is not auto take accounting. Manually only we will be counting, but it will be easy. We have backup everything it will be doing. So revisions will be easy. So after the consultancy, if you are working in a contracting company estimation department, there we have to do the cost estimation at the time we have to verify the BOQ quantity. From the tender drawings that we are receiving from the consultant, again, we have to cross verify the quantity. So detailed level of quantity will be, quantity surveying will be happening inside the contracting company estimation department. Now once the project has awarded, we have to order the material, material procurement. From the working drawings, suppose you are having 10 or 20 buildings all in a sudden, the total quantity we are not going to purchase. Suppose if you are having one lakh meter of pipe work, Initially, for which buildings are having the priority, that only we'll be purchasing first. So from the shop drawings, we'll be taking the quantity as per the necessity. Then we will be rising the material requisition. We will purchase the item. So execution, that is inevitable. Then final billing. Once the project has completed, we'll be preparing the as built drawings. Once we are submitting the final billing, again, we have to cross verify the quantity. What quantity we have estimated, how much we have uh, executed. If there is any plus or minus, we, we have to cross compare. 
then only we'll be submitting the final building if any additional items are coming that is called a variation so before claiming claiming the variation once again we have to check the quantity that we have installed so whether that is design or in, inside the consultancy or inside the contracting company qs department or estimation department or at the site execution when we are purchasing the item or at the time when we are filling uh, when when we are filing the final bill in the contracting company quantity surveying is inevitable the same way while we are pricing the item inside the estimation department we will be sending the inquiry to the suppose i i, I need a like a 10 number of chiller machine 100 number of fan coil units i'll be sending this requirement to the suppliers in the market so supplier only will will be giving the quotation as per the quotation i'll be considering the material rate then i'll be calculating the labor rate profit overhead who estimation engineer so inside the supplier company there should be a quantity surveyor come estimation engineer because they have to cross verify the quantity the contractor has sent based on that only they'll be submitting the quotation so quantity surveying is inevitable but the detailed level of quantity surveying will be happening inside the contracting company because the contracting company will be getting the tender documents from the consultant tender documents uh see lot of mistakes will will be there in the consultant boq we are having two types of project like a clause what a provisional sum project or fixed price project if it is a fixed price project let's say in boq the consultant boq i am having like a 10 number of ac but in reality tender drawings i am having 12 number of air conditioning machines so if at the time when we are estimating inside the contracting company if we are blindly following the consultant boq we will price for only 10 numbers we will be missing two numbers for pricing if it's a fixed price project while the contractor is executing it he has to put the money from his pocket and he has to install additional two number of ac the client will not give the money the contractor has to take care from his profit loss only right risky but provisional some projects are there if the mep drawings are not clear okay in that time in the condition of contract the client and consultant will be mentioning a contractor can submit their own price their own bill of quantity and if there, if there is any additional items are coming in the last they, they can claim the variation extra money will be provided that is fine but most of the cases are projects are fixed price project only variations uh, they will not be allowing if additional any additional client requirements are coming means then fine a, a contractor can install it they can collect the money in the last but at the time of estimation if they are doing any mistakes that will not be tolerated the client will not give you the money okay so let's say we can start quantity surveying how we were doing quantity surveying in older days nowadays also like a 50 60 percentage of company they will take the print out of drawing they will be taking the print out of drawing whether that is a1 sheet a0 sheet whatever it may after that by highlighters will be having highlighters to verify the quantity no? one by one we will be counting it it will consume lot of time but if you are getting an autocad layout okay if all the autocad blocks has created on the same layer if they they have prepared everything like a block then it is easy no select a similar option you can select then you can count it length also but it will while you are working in an estimation department you are not going to get the autocad layout in the starting at the time of estimation once the project has awarded then only you will be getting the autocad pdf drawings only you will be getting at the time of cost estimation because we have never got the project once our pricing is found okay for the client then they will give the project so if we are getting pdf layout we used to take the print out then using highlighters color highlighters we used to take the quantity and engineer scale will be there like engineer scale with a different uh, uh, scale ratio one is to 100 one is to 200 it is having six sides each sides will be having different different scales see one side will be one is to 20 other side is one is to 50 one is to 100 so if you want to take the length by the help of engineer scale you can do it but it will consume lot of time okay you are counting light fittings or you are counting volume control dampers okay 1 2 3 4 up to 10 you have count or 14 you have count 
in between somebody was asking oh, are you what you are doing no you will be distracted from the activity so again you have to recheck that so a lot of manual errors will come in that circumstances that's why we are using a software all the pdf layout we can attach in a plan shift software then you can do your work okay see suppose if you are working like an estimation engineer in a or a quantity surveyor in an estimation department all in a sudden if you are getting a project you are not going to take the quantity surveying now you have to do some prerequisite before starting the quantity surveying the first one so you'll be getting the tender documents tender documents what all necessary things you need to proceed your work first you have to verify it okay the first thing you need drawings right tender drawings you need so you have to verify all the drawings we have received or not inside the tender drawings we will be having a drawing list a list of drawings will be there i guess we got one project yesterday no ye this is a project we got yesterday see drawings so drawing will be having a drawing list let's say i am going to start my hvac quantity take off sheet mechanical drainage water supply ac ducting so i am having all these drawings ma101 ma102 ma103 first i have to verify that all these drawings are received or not i am just going to the mechanical hvac folder like uh, what all things first one ma101 ac ducting system it's vac ac ducting ma101 ma101 is there 102 is there 103 is there 104 is there 105 is there 106 is there 107 is there what about this one ma501 it is not there in this folder you can go to somewhere in hvc details it might be there yes it is there check ma501 1 ma501 2 ma501 3 like that you have to make sure that all the drawings as per the drawings list if there is no drawing list don't worry uh, while you are reading the drawings you will get the idea otherwise you can notice that drawings list has not received the first thing you have to make sure that all the drawings we have are received correct if it is not received you have to write the rfi request for information serial number okay the first first query okay that is your query see hvac AC zero one drawings has not received. Kindly provide it. So last you will be having like response from client or response from consultant. So we'll be raising our query and we will send it. So the client will be responding. Okay, we will provide it. We can proceed for time being. You have to raise the RFI. Each contracting company will be having their own RFI format. You can follow that. So the second thing you need BOQ bill of quantity. A consultant BOQ will be there or sometimes not. Okay, you can go to the tender documents whether the BOQ has received or not. Yes, BOQ is there. You can go to BOQ. BOQ will be having the quantity. So we are having like a sprinkler, upright sprinkler six thirty number, concealed sprinkler one one four zero number, pendant sprinkler three fifty number. This is firefighting. Same way, HVAC is also having all these kind of items. Here you can see the consultant will provide unit. quantity this two columns unit cost mean or unit unit rate and amount or unit cost and total cost will be vacant this the contractor has to fill at the time when the contracting company qs department or estimation department is verifying the quantity we have to make sure that all these quantities are correct if there is some it doesn't mean that this quantity is correct correct sometimes additional items you have to consider some plus or addition deletion you have to do it okay so boq has received or not you have to check it if it is received then fine if it is not received there is query number 2 boq has not received kindly provide it so the client will respond or the consultant will respond we are not having mep boq or you can make your own boq and you can submit we will accept it or they will say okay boq we will be providing by day after tomorrow or tomorrow or today evening you can proceed for time being so response you will be getting the third one we need specification for example at the time when you are doing the cost estimation you are pricing duct duct we are having different material no gi is there pre insulated duct mild steel then we are having like a 
copper aluminium pvc frp fabric different materials we are having j and pa is the common material so if you are not having specification you will not be getting the idea of the material so you have to make sure that the spec has received or not the fourth one you have to go the scope of work what exactly you have to do in that project scope of work normally scope of work conditions of contract is there what exactly you have to do in the project instruction form form agreement conditions brief description and scope of work it is there what exactly you have to do in that project scope of work the scope of work of the subcontract package include the design review supply installation testing and commissioning and comprehensive maintenance for a period of 2 year 2 year maintenance period will be there so 5 percentage of the amount they will be holding so these all work we have to do drainage plumbing water supply fire fighting entire design review supply because design drawings will be there but we have to check it supply installation everything we have to do okay and the location is there actually first time when i am reading this project <laughs> yesterday when i have received it visiting site insurance physical conditions mock up fit out preparation all finishing currency acceptance tender price because tender no minimum 10 percentage of the project value if the project value is like 3 million or 30 million nearly 3 million you have to the contractor has to submit like a bank deposit they you will get that money once the project has completed lump sum boq local program language references when the project has to start duration of project payment form of tender all these things no conditions of contract when the project has to start when it has to finish what's the duration of project see the duration security bond 10 percentage of the contract value the contractor has to provide in a bank like a deposit amount of penalty within on the on time if you are not finishing the project per day like to 20000 dirham you should pay i guess there is less okay if the whole works are delaying means per day like 80000 dirham 20000 dirham is how much it is uh, nearly oh, 20 into 20 no 2 to 4 lakhs rupees it will come per day each day 4 lakhs rupees the contractor has to give the penalty then uh, projected duration time which in the payments sir no duration 800 defect liability not applicable contract price gross 60 calendar days no that one duration is not there project duration they have not provided probably by one year or 400 days control f okay duration might be calculated duration of all activity to be loaded as resources to the activity a progress this is like planning duration okay they are not providing the duration okay so that has to be cleared we can raise an rfi for that but don't worry about it so anyhow that we have received scope of work what is scope of work what exactly we have to do in it sometimes the project we are going to estimate or take the quantity will be a fit out work or it might be a maintenance or it's it might be a demolition or refurbishment renovation or new project what exactly we are going to do the contractor has to do in that project at least a document will be clearing it that is called a scope of work and you need vendors list for that vendors list suppose if you are pricing an ac machine okay in bill of quantities you will be having uh, what ac machine okay let's say you will be having electrical okay you are having like a supply and installation of dx fan coil unit following capacity the capacity is not provided but you have to take us for the schedule so your schedule will be there from the schedule you can find out what's the capacity of this machine you can go to drawings mechanical pdf uh mechanical schedule mechanical schedule 1 they're having like a indoor what hvac system you are having fresh air handling unit indoor and outdoor we are of units indoor and outdoor we are of unit is having a number and indoor unit number is gr 
then d explit ac what machine it is we are dealing air can supply and installation of dx fan coil unit of dx fan coil unit indoor and outdoor the number has to be provided d explit ac ducted type dsp1 odu1 what's the number we are having there in the boq dsp1 odu1 okay capacity they have not provided in the boq in drawings it might be there but you can find out dsp1 ducted split ac indoor unit dspi is not one dspi is ducted split ac indoor unit outdoor unit so you can come there we are having nine numbers see quantity nine numbers already they have provided but you have to verify it from the drawing the capacity cooling load total coil load is 3.7 kilowatt and 180 liter per second it is having an esp external static pressure they are not providing no problem it is like on lowing dry bulb it is dx only you no know? fine it's a ducted machine so from the schedule you can find out the capacity so this schedule you have to forward to the supplier but what make it's a ducted split ac we are having daikin carrier mitsubishi panasonic lg voltas what make it is boq also they are not providing right without knowing the material how we can price it so they are not providing the make no problem normally the under the specification they is to provide it pdf specifications electrical mechanical specification control of say let's say ducted or you can see probably any make you can try like in no it's not there vendors no in spec it is not there condition of contract we can check not there. some files they will provide it if they have not provided you have to collect it if see it is there <clears throat> scheduled of approved manufacturers section 38 you can go to the like index in the index they might be providing section 30x you can see dx split ac if you are going to purchase means you should purchase that from daikin or o general or samsung or lg okay country of origin everywhere they are not providing but here you can see ac copper pipe and fittings you can go for this muller make yorkshire kembla but it has to be originated either from usa or from european union you should not purchase this copper tube from any other country okay some everywhere it is not there but here you can see the manufacturers are there daikin or general samsung lg anyone you can which one is a higher price at the time of estimation you can probably daikin machines will be having the higher price at the time when you are estimating you can include the daikin price but the client will ask we will be doing the value engineering value engineering means once we have submitted or before submitting it okay at the time when we are estimating for the real price we have considered a daikin cost but instead of daikin if you are going for samsung what is the price difference instead of daikin if you are going for samsung nearly 20% percentage of the dx split or vrv unit cost we can decrease that you can propose or after the client meeting once we have once we have submitted the first price the client will be asking for the negotiation until the first boq submission that is called pre tendering work once the pre tendering work has completed the client will be calling for uh, uh, negotiation so after that they will ask to do some value engineering so at that time what all things we can propose to reduce the price means we can instead of pre insulated galvanized iron duct we can go for pre insulated duct so ducting cost will be decreasing nearly 40 percentage instead of daikin machine you can propose samsung machine so material price you can increase so like there what all methodologies you can use to reduce the price that is called the value engineering okay so value engineering you can do that is later only but now we are having vendors list 
is there no when this list so you have to make sure that first study it okay this question definitely they will ask at the time of interview what you need at the time we need drawing we can start the work now drawings bq spec scope of work when this list all these things we have to cross verify first that is your first task once sir, the tender drop ah sir in this diking original samsung you can buy from any country right no any supplies so will be there in the market if it is not mentioned there we can buy from any diking is from japan only now we are not having any other manufacturers but oh. if the Jap diking is having any other country of origin then uh, you have to check with the consultant but diking normally generating from japan only sir let's say for the samsung no oh. you can buy it from any other country rest of the you uh, can purchase than... the item from any other country because they are not mentioning the country of origin here okay especially they are mentioning means you have to consider okay. otherwise in the local market suppose you are pricing this for uae hmm. uae locker market we are having suppliers in the market place suppliers will be delivering daikin no general samsung all the machines they will be delivering will be sending this requirement to them only they will be giving the quotation okay sir okay so all these things you have to check first once everything is but for this project everything is ready right it is there now we can start your project actually this one i i got yesterday first time only i am checking it now rfi has done no i don't want to raise any rfi in the class itself it has finished okay actually it is a live project <laughs> i should not share it in class fine okay the next one now you can start it i am taking plan shift software you might be remembering this software because this one i am using for uh, psychrometric class plan shift so one question here ah oh. Uh, you have suggested three brands there for DX unit, Daikin, Samsung, and O General. Oh. So if we are play, uh, if we are I mean proposing the Daikin price there, and we are not declaring that we have I means claim for the Daikin. Ah, oh, you have to claim it. Okay, we have to show what that. What price you have considered? You have to include it. They will yeah. check it. Okay, we have two minutes. We have to declare that we have choose chosen the diagram. No, definitely, machine. they will ask at the time of meeting. Okay. Okay. So this is plan shift, very easy tool. I am going to upload my documents now. Drawings I am going to take. This one we can try now. This same project. So first, I am going to upload my drawing. Okay, PDF only. I am. I'll be a PDF only. Will be supporting. I am just going to new project, new. i'm going to start a project no i'm doing just a a project called batil batil is uh, in dubai only dubai mall batil uh, just stay that is uh, november so now it is december right december 21 okay so what's a unit you need any description suppose what is the submission what exactly you are doing i'm doing hvsc activity any special notes submission date or something if you want to add you can add it measurement what measurement english or metric english length will be in feet and inches and area will be in square feet in metric system meter convention so metric i am familiar so just click next after selecting it now the drawings you can take where it is where you are storing it from there you can take it let's say this is in the inside the d drive this is my batil mechanical PDF file, click OK. So these are the drawings. I'm not going to upload everything. First two A's. If you want to check everything, you can go there. Check all. If you don't want, uncheck all. I need these two, and I need on firefighting. Firefighting I'm not doing now, but why I have uploaded firefighting, I will explain that later. Okay. Once your drawings are selected, you do, you don't want to open the drawing. I'm going to upload a AC layout only. Here you can see it is there. AC is air conditioning. dr is drainage ff is firefighting ws is water supply it will be there in the drawing itself we can so i have taken two ac drawings and this firefighting one click next now the software is asking whether to convert the pdf file that i am uploading into tiff tagged image format t a g g e d tagged image format if you are unchecking it 
suddenly the software will upload the pdf file it will not take much time to upload but if you're unchecking it the advantage is directly the software will take the pdf format drawing but uh, if you are working with the big files your system will will be your performance will be affected it may hang after some time so best is supporting format for plan shift is tiff only so you have to select it but suddenly if you want to take your file you can select the pdf file how much good system you are having no but if you are playing with the huge file definitely it will hang if you are converting if you are directly taking the pdf so i am converting pdf into tiff format now dpa dpa means dots per inch square one inch square how much dots because like pixels photos megapixel gigapixel photo how by pixels only we are representing photo right same way plan shift will be representing the photo or the images by dots one inch square how much dots if you are increase 300 is the optimum value if you are increasing from 300 to 600 the quality will be improved but the performance will be decreased if you are decreasing suppose sometimes if your software is taking lot of time to upload the file for conversion you can close it and you can again upload it at the time you can decrease this value from 300 to 150 so it will upload 300 to 150 200 less values but the quality will be decreased but the performance will be increased anyhow 300 is the optimum value you don't want to change it now the color of drawing whether that is black and white 16 color 256 color true color i'm selecting true color click next next finish it now what the software will do the three drawings i am selecting the pdf first it will upload after uploading it it will be converting into tiff format tagged image format then the drawing you will be getting now this is fine this is a drawing already since we have discussed something in the drafting session you know what all these things you will get some idea okay so this is a drawing the sheet is what it is a1 sheet only plot scale is 1 is to 1 that is a mistake wrong anyhow 1 is to 1 is not possible to plot in a1 sheet so it might be 1 is to 100 or something and what's a project name who is a client consultant contractor everything will be there in the title sheet what all short blocks you are using symbols you are using in the drawings will be there in the legends these are the general details and these are the schedules so if the project is medium sometimes the schedule they will be including in the same drawing file but in the previous project that we have checked separate schedule was there separate drawing list separate schedule from the schedule we can find it machine capacity in the drawing they will be providing only machine name sometimes machine capacity they will not be providing so if we want to find out the machine capacity you have to as per the machine number you have to check in the machine schedule then you can find out what is the total coil load and the liter per second okay so general details schedules everything will be there and this is my drawing correct since we have prepared drawing you know how we are making it in a company like professionally x attaching now we will x attach the file so you will be having your cat file uh, let me take so in the cat file we will x attach the architecture layout above the architecture layout we will be creating the layer above the layer only we will be creating our services right the same way only all the working drawings or tender drawings they'll be preparing here you can see this is my file my architecture same file only but remember when you are working in a estimation department you are not going to get any uh, autocad here you can see there is a project right in this project there is any let's say khatar okay uh, you can see okay oh it is hypermarket see we are having hvac layout pdf no we are having only pdf layout they only will provide pdf they will not give you autocad layout in the starting so with the pdf you have to manage it okay so anyhow this is my file i am selecting this one what is this xref only that is your xref okay so this xref i'll be taking back and this is service our service will be creating our layers so this xref will be common for all the services right this xref is common for all the services whether that is hvac firefighting plumbing drainage electrical lighting power the same only the same xref only will be doing the all the services this is our file 
okay here you can see same way we are having an xf see now okay from the new we have uh, started project you can go to open because previous project if you want to open you can open it you can start it okay from previous project if you want to take it you can start it again you can go to open option we were doing like this one open it okay so if you want to take the print out you can go to print out and print it if you want to email this job you can go to email okay email plan click next next you can provide send to email address and you can send it to any email address if you want to zoom it you can zoom it if you want to zoom to fit zoom to fit zoom in zoom out pan if you want to move the drawing you can click the pan after that clicking and holding the mouse left button you can move it pan it but pan mouse middle button is good mouse middle button if you are moving you can zoom it zoom out zoom in zoom out mouse middle button if you are clicking and holding and pan will be activated you can click and hold the mouse middle button then you can move it you don't want to click the pan again to move okay click and hold the mouse middle button then you can do the pan okay these things we can discuss now pages if you want to add an additional drawing you can go to add pages from image files click next the previous drawing if you want to add one this fire fighting two click next next back true color next finish so even that drawing also will be adding here okay that's added same again if you want add new you don't want to go there here you can see under pages and bookmark below here also you can add it okay so you can rotate it rotate left rotate right okay you can flip what flip you can flip the drawing flip vertically rotate on 90 degree see these are physical things only no it is not required for our job but invert option is there you can click invert option so entire white screen will be going to the black screen sometimes if the drawing is not having clarity you can go to invert option then you can do the quantity survey okay but remember this invert option will only be functioning in tiff file tagged image format file if you are uh, directly uploading the pdf file it will not be supporting so tiff file only will be supporting this in invert so i'm just going to home same like autocad the necessary things to do the activity everything we have attached in the home right same way all the things they have it is there in the home screen in this drawing you can see we are having fcu01 fcu02 these are the ducting some accessories will be there in the ducting everything what all things i am having in the drawings i have to take the quantity remember while you are taking the quantity you should have a clear idea that why we are taking this quantity the quantity we are taking for pricing or purchasing suppose you are taking a pipe quantity you will take the length 3 meter then you will go to the market i need 3 meter pipe no one will give you 3 meter pipe right what is the diameter what should be the material okay they will ask it so as per the diameter you have to take the length 90 mm this much meter if you are taking the machine fan coil unit okay fan coil unit one number you will go to the manufacturer i need a fan coil unit fan coil unit what is the cooling capacity how much flow rate it is ducted splitters you know non ducted machines only cooling capacity is sufficient splitters yes and, and all it, it is not having any ro much role in the flow rate because we are not connecting any duct but ducted machines we need flow rate with respect to the flow rate only we will be selecting our uh, duct sizing we will be doing the duct sizing we will be selecting the air terminals and all esp will be calculated so flow rate is mandatory two ways we can do see in this drawing we are having two fan coil unit fcu01 and fcu02 and we are having duct work first you can do one thing first method all the similar item you can take first fan coil unit you can take first thermostat you can take next volume control damper ducting diffusers plenum flexible duct like that you can take it or the next method you can take a single machine first let's say a fan coil unit one first all the fittings and accessories that is related to this machine you can finish first then you can move to the next machine that will be good the advantage is you will not miss any item you will study the route all where the route is going where it is connecting so you can study the project also that's why the so first select a machine 
all the fittings and accessories that is related to this machine you can finish first then you can move to the another machine even if if you are having similar items okay so i'm going to start with the fan coil unit 1 See, it's what machine it is, FCU01. Here you can see, you can go to the FCU valve details. It is supply, retain, some valves and all. It's a chilled water machine. You can go to the schedule. FCU01, chilled water inlet temperature, chilled water leaving, outlet temperature, supply, retain temperature. Clear that, that is ducted fan coil unit only. I'm taking it. Ducted fan coil unit we are purchasing from the market in numbers only, not in square meter. Not in length, right? Not in meter. So in numbers. So you have to count it. You can go to the takeoff. In takeoff, we are having count option. Just click count. What is this one? FCU. While you are taking the FCU, we need two value. See, liter per second is there. Flow rate, 716. But what about the cooling load? Cooling load, you can check the schedule. FCU 01. Flow rate is 716 liter per second. Total load, sensible load. Total load only we will be taking. Total load minus sensible load, you'll be getting latent load. So this is having just 0.7 kilowatt of latent. 6.95 minus 6.25. 6. 0. 0.75, 0. 0.7, right. So total load is 6.95 kilowatt. Now you can take the quantity. Just go here, click count option. Okay. That is my fan coil unit, FCU. I'm not taking number now. FCU. 6.95 kilowatt I'm typing. While I'm selecting this one, while I'm clicking a count option, I'll be getting a properties new tab. In the name, you can provide what item you are going to take the quantity. I'm taking fan coil unit, 6.95 kilowatt. How much liter per second? That is 716 liter per second. Color, shape, we can discuss. Now click OK. Now, where the item is, there you have to click it. Click. You can see one number, I have taken the quantity. If you don't want to continue, you can escape. Click escape button or you can right click and stop it. So, one number, I have taken it. Correct. Where you have taken, you can check the takeoff summary. Just go to the takeoff summary, FCU 6.95, one number. Or you can go to the pages and bookmark. These are the pages, drawings I have uploaded. Here you can see. FCU 6.95 kilowatt, 716 liter per second, one number. The same item if you want to continue. Suppose typical fan coil units if you are having in the same machine. You don't want to type that once again. Rather, you can point your mouse in the item. Left side, you will be getting a bulb, this one. Or if you are selecting here, here also you will be getting it. Digitizer record. Okay, While you are selecting this in the top side or here, you will be getting a bulb. You can select it. Now it is three, four, five, wherever you are clicking, it will be counting. Six, seven, six, eight, nine, the same item will be added along with this, this item. If you don't want in a single stretch, what all clicks you made, suppose I'm selecting it. In this single stretch, I made three clicks. So if I'm selecting this one, all the three click has selected, you can click delete. All these three items together will be deleted. Before in the single, Click, I have selected this nine number, eight number. You can click and delete it. All these items will be deleted. Uh, again, if you want to start means you can click here. One, two, three. Okay, you can select the item. You can click and delete. If one item, if you want to delete means you can select, double click it. Double click, double click this item. It will be deleted. Okay, so once again, I am doing it. Select it, right click, delete. I am going to take the quantity of this fan coil unit. Okay, just go to count option. This is my FCU, 6.95 kilowatt. How much liter per second? 716 liter per second. Click OK, I am selecting this. One number. If you want to change the name, you can double click it. Same the properties will come. You can edit it. Okay, any name if you want to provide, you can provide it. Now the color is this one. If you want to change the color, any other color that is possible. Shape of quantity. Now that is circle. Instead of circle, if you need a square or a plus option or a triangle, anything is possible, right? I'm selecting a square option. Click OK. 
If you want to continue, you can select it. You can click digitizer record. You can continue this two, three. If you don't want, you can double click it. Okay. So FCU I have selected. While you are, how we are installing the fan coil unit. I might have explained in the drafting session fan coil unit. Normally we will be hanging it. It is ceiling suspended unit only. We will be hanging it on the false ceiling, right? We can see top side. We are hanging it one, two. So four corners normally. In four corners, we'll be having one, two, another four corners, two, four. Top side, no. Additional fittings will be there. It's how we are hanging. See, first we will be drilling drilling hole there. The roof we will drill. Sometimes while you are purchasing a fan coil unit, a template cardboard you will get. On what distance you have to drill it. Otherwise, you have to take the dimension, then you have to make the hole. So by drill, you have to drill a hole. After drilling it, we have to place four a fan coil unit. Four holes are sufficient. We'll be placing like anchor bolt. Anchor bolt, we will be placing anchor bolt. Fisher plug is there, no? You know, Fisher plug. Fisher plug. Fisher plug, we will be. So, this is our Fisher plug. Now, suppose if you want to hang some photos in your wall, we'll be drilling it and we'll be placing the Fisher plug, then we will be placing it. This screw. Okay, same way. Uh, anger bolt is having more strength. So in uh, four holes, we'll be placing anger bolt. While you are tightening this anger bolt, what will happen? This side will be placing top side. No, well, we are, that will be expanding inside like an anchor. So you'll be getting a tight tight structure there. At the end of anchor bolt, we will be providing a vibration isolator or a spring isolator. Vibration isolator or a spring isolator because when the fan coil unit is working, the vibration should not transfer to the slab. That's why we will be providing a vibration isolator. From the vibration isolator, we will be connecting a threaded rod. Threaded rod. Threaded rod is a 5.9 to 6 meter maximum mild steel or GI rod, galvanized iron or mild steel MS rod with the infinite thread in it. We are having M6, M6, M8, M10, M12, M14, like that. These are the range normally for fan coil unit. M6 means module 6, module 8. That is representing the diameter of your diameter of your uh, threaded rod. Module 6, 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm. Normally for machine hanging, we are using 10 and 12. Out of that, 12 is most common. M6 and M8, we are using for duct hanging. Small mini duct hanging, we are using M6 and M8. M12, but manufacturer will recommend what uh, dia threaded rod you should use. M12 is common. So threaded rod you can purchase and you can cut it as per your requirement and you can use it. So anger bolt, at the end of anger bolt, spring isolator, then threaded rod, end of threaded rod will be connecting to the fan coil unit. There we will be bolting it. Bolt will be connected. Before connecting the bolt, we will be providing a washer, rubber washer, we will be providing it. That is called the grommet. Okay. Rubber grommet has to be added the same way. Anger bolt, spring isolator, threaded rod, end of threaded rod is connecting into the fan coil unit. This is a duct work. And here we'll be providing a rubber bush and we'll be finishing the job. Same you can see here. Fan coil unit, top side anger bolt, this one. Then anti-vibration spring isolator, threaded rod, 
rubber grommet see this four items are standard only you don't want to take the quantity just for your knowledge i told while we are pricing it we will be pricing supply and installation of fan coil unit along with the supports vibration is like that only no four each and every item four numbers we need since it is a standard item for fan coil units you don't want to take that separately we can consider at the time of estimation okay the next one duct has to be connected right at the mouthpiece front side this is called the mouthpiece because with respect to the 716 liter per second we need 650 by 300 duct in the duct sizing only we will be studying it how this size has arrived but machine width might be 1.4 meter or 1.3 meter with respect to the manufacturer duct width is 650 so 1.4 to 650 we need the taper session that is called the mouthpiece in the drafting session we have discussed it correct so in this one before connecting it we are having a flexible duct connector in the machine mouth flexible duct connector flexible duct connector we will be providing in the machine mouth this one so it's a fan this one you can see you now this is a flexible duct connector normally the good material is neoprene n e o p r e n e neoprene is the best material but sometimes they are using canvas cloth even canvas cloth also we can use it will do the same thing but it is not that much effective like uh, not only anger bolt is known as fastener bolt screw then all these type of thing that we are using to fix an item nut bolt screw anger bolt everything is called the fastener okay sir okay so can sir, in to... all four uh, anchor bolt we have to fix uh, that uh, spring isolator uh, everywhere in all four, the four four isolators okay. we have to provide okay because from all the four corners the vibration will be transferring right yes sir so yes. after some time the anchor bolt is vibrating means it will come down yes, and sir. also it should not transfer to the slab the slab Roof. strength will be decreasing now after some time yes sir. okay so anchor bolt sorry uh, canvas cloth is a cotton cloth you can purchase from the market then even canvas cloth also will be cutting and will be providing why we are providing in the machine mouth before connecting to the mouthpiece a flexible duct connector or a canvas cloth because okay from machine to the slab roof slab to to isolate the vibration we are providing spring isolator but duct and the machine is a rigid only right a duct also will be hanging so when the machine is working the vibration should not transfer to the duct otherwise duct will shiver and also you need a rigid flexibility in between both machine and duct is a rigid item so if you need a proper alignment you need some flexibility in the machine mouth that's why we are using either canvas cloth or uh, neoprene means flexible duct connector even that is also an integral part of machine you don't want to consider that separately but one thing whether given or not if you are having a ducted fan coil unit if you are having a ceiling mounted cassette ac cassette ac sometimes a remote operated cassette ac is there then leave it but some cassette ac and ducted split all kind of ducted split machine or ducted fan coil unit all the machine that is concealed the ceiling suspended concealed unit should have a thermostat whether given or not you should consider it normally they will give in the drawing so here you can see this is fan coil unit from the side a control wiring is going this one and this is ending here what is this one you can go to the legend check it that is thermostat thermostat will be having analog type of thermostat and digital type thermostat why we are using three options fan speed on off temperature setting okay lot of times we have discussed so i'm taking thermostat for this machine just go to count option thermostat thermostat for fan coil unit so i'll be taking a different color plus option click okay so this is my thermostat that is my thermostat now what flexible duct connector i don't want here you can see how it is providing the supply see in this architecture layout you can come it is having a boh area boh area is called the back of house area back of 
house suppose you will be entering into their your your building front side right veranda is veranda is common in english veranda entry you can call that as front of house suppose you are having a kitchen in the back side you can call that as back of house who will be naming it architect will be, only will be naming it don't worry so normally the area that is coming in the back side of your building that is called the back of house area front side of building veranda living area you can call that as front of foh area front of house in boh area here you can see they are using like horizontal lines vertical lines you can take the dimension this dimension you'll get 600 mm 600 right 600 from here to here how much i am getting 600 right so what is that one this is your reflected ceiling panel a rcp they are using grid ceiling there grid type ceiling by 60 cm by 60 cm ceiling grids they are using in boys area this one normally in grid type ceiling square type light fitting and square diffusers will be good look you will get so grid ceiling only linear type diffusers are not possible okay grid type square light they are proposing okay sometimes around also they may propose there is another story square type light fitting and square diffuser so you'll be getting a aesthetic look in your ceiling grid type ceiling most of the time we will be using square diffusers only most of, i am not saying it is all of the time most of the time and uh, how is so normally while we are installing you know, we will ceiling grids will be there this kind of ceiling grid like uh, gi stud stud gi stud we will be hanging by the help of threaded rod and after that the grid we will be placing ceilings will be plate by plate panels only 60 cm by 60 cm panel like 300 300 panel is there 450 panel 600 panel 800 panel 1 meter panel 1 1200 panel different sizes are available 60, 60 by 60 you know 2 feet by 2 feet is the standard size okay that you can place that's why in boh area back of house area the type of diffuser that we are using is square diffuser only so here you can see from this machine from this machine boh area we are having a supply diffuser there supply diffuser normally we will be denoting like two diagonals ro mark will be outside that is your supply return diffuser is like this only one diagonal will come from the left side bottom to the right side bottom or left side tops to the right side bottom ro mark will be inside so this is your return this is your supply so this supply diffuser will be delivered by this one by the help of a flexible duct see if the machine duct location okay. your machine duct axis and the diffuser axis is same let's make a section this is my duct this is my fault ceiling your duct axis this is my diffuser then what you can do from the duct itself you can make a drop a rigid connection correct if this diffuser is located far away from the duct then from here either you can make a branch then rigid connection you can provide or you can extend a branch from there flexible duct also you can connect flexible insulated flexible ducts we can connect sir one question here ah oh. how much length of flexible duct is permissible i will permissible? explain i will explain okay i will explain that flexible duct we can sir what is rvcd i will explain that let me come to that okay so this is your flexible duct only correct this one okay Normally, the flexible duct material is aluminium. 
insulated only like fiberglass insulation also will be providing there so here you can see if the duct is located far away here you can see the machine is here and the diffuser is located below the machine anyhow branch is not possible right so they are using a flexible duct flexible duct you can connect to the diffuser by two ways this is your flexible duct either you can use a plenum box plenum box a box will come a plenum box and this is your duct either from the duct to bottom or from the duct to side we can take a flexible duct the flexible duct will be connecting here so from the duct the cold air will come through the plenum we will be distributing it that is one method means a plenum you can use to connect the next one you can use a transition duct square diffuser top side is square only but flexible duct is round so transition duct is simply nothing from around to square it will be tra trans this one transition duct top side is round only there you can connect your flexible duct bottom side you can connect your diffuser okay this is transition either transition duct or plenum you can use sometimes in the site they will be simply placing without plenum and without transition duct they will be simply placing the flexible duct above the diffuser that is not the right way to install either plenum box or transition duct has to be provided okay that's a way and the flexible duct diameter they are providing here 250 mm dia maximum permissible flexible duct length is 1.2 meter as a standard we will be maintaining but as per ashray you can go up to 1.8 meter not beyond 1.8 meter maximum permissible length of any diameter flexible duct is 1.8 meter but normally we will be keeping less than 1.2 meter standard 1.2 meter only if you are increasing above insulated flexible duct supply duct 1.2 meter maximum length we will not be increasing above 1.2 meter so this items i am going to take this is supply this is return of the supply each supply should have a return right so through this diffuser the neck is how much the size of the diffuser is 300 by 300 this diffuser size is supply diffuser return diffuser each is having an x size of 300 300 what is next size we can discuss in air terminal selection and 125 liter per second through this diffuser we are delivering still we are having one more supply but this supply has delivered by other machine only so i am not taking now this one and this one because it's a part of this machine but this i should take you don't want to consider fluorite fluorite you should consider or you should type in the name only for machines and vav will come vav machines will come or for machines for diffuser duct flexible duct we don't want fluorite okay i'm just going to the count option and i'm typing like supply square any any short word you can use there is no standard for that either you can like scd supply ceiling diffuser scd sometimes supply circular diffuser also can come or sd supply diffuser ssqd supply square diffuser you are i'm typing like ssqd the size is 300 by 300 millimeter only anyhow mm click okay and i am counting this one this supply diffuser should have a return just go to the count option return also should be considered return square diffuser the size is 300 into 300 click okay and you can consider this as well return supply and return i have considered right now this flexible duct is having an rvcd rvcd is a round volume control damper we used to call that as butterfly damper butterfly damper or round volume control damper same like volume control damper vcd so normally volume control damper we will be connecting in the duct branches to adjust the flow rate because here you can see from the starting of machine we have already provided vcd in the, at the time of drafting see 716 liter of air is coming outside right always in the starting of machine we will be having high pressure pressure will be always high in the starting mouth first connection you should terminate from the mouth of machine the first connection should be after minimum 600 mm gap should be maintained after 600 mm you can take the first connection so from the mouth to the first connection 
the gap should be at least two feet. Six hundred mm has to be maintained. Okay, anyhow, it should be more than that. Okay, so in seven sixty, we need only one twenty five liter per second inside. Overall, we need two fifty liter per second in back of BOH area. How? After the heating and the cooling load calculation only, we will be getting it. One twenty five liter per second. This machine will provide. One twenty five liter per second. This machine will provide. Okay, two machines. See, since it is in the starting, the pressure is more. Instead of one twenty five liter per second, sometimes more pressure will come. More pressure will come. So you have to balance it right. It's how means. See, I'm making a section. This is your uh, duct, right? This is your duct. Somewhere a little bit slightly, this is your false ceiling level. Let's say I'll be having a diffuser there. It's a diffuser neck. There I'll be connecting a plenum box. Then from the duct to bottom only they are cutting it. From the duct to bottom, I'll be connecting a flexible duct. By this way it will come. So normally the bottom of duct. Like uh, the bottom of duct is here. It's not here. Bottom of duct will be making making a hole. In that hole, like if you are going to the section, this hole will come. Here we'll be connecting a duct called the collar duct. Same like shoe collar. Shoe collar is having shoe shape. It is having round shape. A collar duct has to be provided. Within the collar duct, we'll be having this RVCD, round volume control damper. After that, we will be placing the flexible duct. Then we will be providing a clamp or a clip called a Jubilee clip. Okay. So first, you will be connecting in the duct. We will make a hole. In the hole, we will place what? Collar duct. Not CO. Collar duct. This one. Same way, collar duct round shape has to be provided. Then after that, we will be providing the RVC, the butterfly damper or round volume control damper. It is having a handle. The building is having building management system. It is motorized. Motorized damper also available. Since it is having a damper blade inside, so it is like a wings of butterfly. You know, that's why we used to call that as butterfly damper. Okay. By adjusting the handle, the volume flow rate of air through the duct you can vary. Then after that, we will be placing the flexible duct in the collar duct end. Then we'll be providing a clip called Jubilee clip. Jubilee clip or or clamp we can provide. Normally we'll be providing Jubilee clip. This. One. This is your jubilee clip. We'll be rounding it. After that, we'll be tightening the jubilee clip. Okay. And instead of jubilee clip, you can provide oak clamp also. No? Oak clamp is not there. But oak clamp we are not using much. Oak clamp also you can use. This, this one, this kind of oak clamp. There it is. Yeah, this one. Or clamp also you can use, but jubilee clip is the common thing. Okay, so that's the way. So RVCD and flexible duct you have to take on. Flexible duct we can price by numbers or in length. Anyhow, for time being I am counting it. I am not taking the length. I am taking the quantity. Okay, just go to the count option. I am taking the flexible duct. Count it. Flexible duct diameter is how much? Flexible duct. Diameter they have provided two fifty mm dia, two fifty millimeter dia, two fifty mm dia, and uh, click OK. Which of circle triangle? Select this one, and we can select RVCD round volume control damper. The size of RVCD is same as the size of flexible duct. There is no difference. Just go to count option. And I am typing like a round volume control damper having diameter of two fifty mm, two fifty mm dia. Click OK. Let's count it. It has taken right. So now the next thing, 
we have to take the duct. Okay, I will come to that before that. In the duct branches, okay, starting duct size is 65300 because it is having 716 liter per second. So out of 716, 125 will be going here. Then nearly 400, uh, 271 will be going here. So this, this branch is having a size of 400, 250. This is having a size of 250, 250. So after distributing the air to the different branches, the duct size will be decreasing, right? Now it is decreasing to 350, 300, like that. Each branches, no, we should have volume control damper. This VCD also you should consider. VCD you can count volume control damper. Rectangular shape only this one. The size of VCD is same as the size of duct in, it, in, in which it is connected. So this VCD is having a size of 400 by 250. VCD, you know, right? The drafting we have discussed, VCD, volume control damper. VCD, volume control damper. Rectangular in between the duct branches we are connecting to balance or control the volume flow rate of air. This one. Okay. VCD, the size of this VCD is 400, 250. You don't want flow rate, just the size. Let's go to count option. Volume control damper, it is 400 into 250. 400 by 250. Click OK. Count it. And also here you are having another one. This is having a size of uh, 300 by 250. So just count it. Volume control damper, it is 300 into 250. Let's say I'll be taking a triangle. Click off this one. Now here I am having a VCD, the size is 300, 250. Already 300, 250 I have taken, so no need to type it again. You can select this. And you can use the digitizer record, select it and count it. Now it is two number. Okay. Now anyhow, I have to start the duct. See ducting, ducting we are pricing by square meter only. Because how we are making the duct? See normally, duct we can make by site, by, uh, or we can approach a duct manufacturing factory, they will manufacture it. Normally duct, we are having like a GI sheet, galvanized iron. What is galvanization? Galvanization, we will be coating zinc above the surface of iron to prevent corrosion. So that zinc will be corroding first, iron will be protected. Galvanized iron will be coating zinc above the surface of iron. That process is called galvanization. Two types of galvanizations are there. Okay. Electroplated and a hot dip. Hot dip means molten or metal sink, like a melted sink will be there, molten sink. In that sink, we will be dipping this iron sheet and after that we will be taking it. But the coating will not be uniform. Sink you can coat, price will be less, that is GI, conventional GI. That is called a hot dipped galvanized iron sheet, hot dipped GI sheet. Price is less. Another type of galvanization is electroplating. Like cathode, anode, zinc, iron, electroplating. We have studied in electroplating, electrolysis, electroplated. But the coating will be uniform. Everywhere the coating is uniform. Molten coating is not uniform somewhere. Wherever the GI is having the less thickness coating, there the corrosion will start first. Anyhow, galvanization is not only sufficient to protect, we have to provide epoxy coating in the in front. Suppose GI pipe you are using in your home, on the surface you have to provide a primer, after the primer epoxy coating you have to provide, then you have to paint it, so that the life span will be extending. Okay, so the standard size of GI sheet normally will come like 8 feet by 4 feet, or 4 feet by 8 feet. Means this side is 4 feet, 1.2 meter. 4 feet, 1.2 meter. This side will come 8 feet. Means 2.4 meter. Approximately a single sheet will come 32 square feet. Nearly 3 point something square meter. So 
this single GI sheet we will purchase. And after that, we will be folding it. Then only we will be calculating how much square meter of duct material is mandatory. For example, let's say, what is my starting duct size here? 650 by 300. Let's say this piece is having a length of two meter. So I'm having a duct of 650, 300. Okay. Let's say this is my duct. I want to find out. So it's a single sheet or two sheet only. Single sheet we will be folding here. You can see this is a single sheet. We'll be folding by one, two, three, four part. You can fold this way, this way. Then we'll be covering like a square tube. Then we will be joining it in the side. Like that only we'll be making it. Okay. Let's say the width is how much? 650 by 300. Or you can consider this side is A. This side is B. You can consider always the first dimension. 650 is width, width only. From the top view, what you can see, plan. This is plan only, right? First dimension is width. Second dimension, 650 by 300. Second dimension is the height. So if this is also side A only, this is also side B. You can imagine this is a single sheet. We are folding by four parts. So this is side A. What is 650? This is side A. This is side B. Side A, I'm just opening it. No, just try to open it. I'm just opening the sheet. So this is first side A, this is side B. Now this side again, it is A and this side will come last, correct. A, then I'm opening this one, like B, then this one, C and this one D, like that A, B, A, B, not C, this is also A only. So this is same, that is B. And the length I'm taking like two meter, okay? The length is how much? Two meter. So the side is length L. So the length you will be getting L. So this much square meter, you need to make it. So not the cross, if you are multiplying A into B, you will be getting the cross-sectional area. Duct quantity is not cross-sectional area, surface area, no. Periphery, that you have to calculate, surface area. How you can calculate? A plus B plus A plus B into L, you'll be getting this area. Or two into A plus B into L, right? Two A plus two B into L, or two into A plus B into L, you can calculate the square feet or square meter of your duct. In this case, it is an mm only. So I'm considering this as meter. 0.3 meter and 0.65 meter. So if you want to calculate the area, let's say length is 2 meter. 2 into 0.65 plus 0.3 into 2. 0.65 plus 0.3, it is 0 0.95. 0 0.95 into 2, 1.9, right? So 1.9 into 2, we'll be getting 3.8 square meter, correct? Calculate it. 0.65 plus 0.3. Calculator. 0.65 plus 0.3. We'll be getting 0.95 into 2. That is 1.9. Length is also 2, right? Into 2, 3.8 square meter. So you need 3.8 square meter material to construct your duct. Okay, like that ducting we will be pricing in square meter, sometimes in kilogram also. Kilogram also we can price it. See, so if you want anyhow, square meter, it is not possible. No. This area you can take, but that is one side area, no, it is not matching. So if you want to calculate the duct pricing at the time, no, we have to convert that into square meter. In this equation, side A has provided, the equation is what? If you want to find out the duct area, two into, a plus B into, or width plus height into length. Okay, it is there. A is width, it is there. B is height, it is there. So what you need to take from the drawing? Length has to be taken from the drawing to calculate your duct. So until here, we have taken quantity. Count only, count, in quantity in count. Now we have to take the length. Because width and height has provided, if you want to perform this calculation, what is the length of this piece? You have to take it. Length you can take by segment. Segment means line. Linear means polyline. Linear, you will be getting continuous quantity. Segment means part by part, you can take it. From here to here, one part, here to here, like that, you can take it. Okay. But I'm trying to take it. So when I'm trying to take the linear, the software is asking, 
this tool requires you to scale the page first. You have to scale this sheet, then only you can take the quantity. Because as per software concern, software point of view, this drawing is an image. Even if it is having some dimension in it, the software will not rectify it. It is just an image. So we have to assign that from this point to this point, the length is two meter. Then by considering that as a reference, the software will be considering the remaining length. So if you want to find the area, if you want to calculate the dimension, find the dimension, if you want to take the linear, if you want to take the segment, you have to scale it first. After scaling only, you can take the quantity. Okay, how to scale it? Area, linear quantity, length, if you want to take, you have to scale the drawing. Even if, if you, you can go to firefighting, it is having some dimension. 1.2 meter, 2.4 meter, 2,400 millimeter. If you are trying to take the dimension, no. It will not rectify it. Yes, non-distance are there. But he, even here, we are not having any non-distance. Correct. Only the duct width is the non-distance, 650. 650 from here to here or from here to here. We don't know that, right? Thickness has to be considered to consider the 650. We don't know that. How to scale it? Next session, we can discuss.